I'm absolutely fuming at that performance by Manchester United today. Absolutely fuming. Uh, and the referee can shove his whistle up his ass as well. He's abs He was an absolutely shit referee today. Uh, honestly, decisions given against us. But let's be real, though. We played with a ridiculously negative style, which literally didn't help anything. But we're on to these pathetic referee mistakes first. I mean, that... <sighs> Foul Rashford by Carl Walker. I believe he fouled him once or twice in that game. Walker was just continuously fouling him in that game. Um, and then especially that foul that Edison did on Ganacho today. Absolutely shocking stuff. Shocking stuff, the foul that was on Ganacho today by Edison. Yes, I know Edison won the ball, but he went flying in, studs up in the air, two-foot tackle, and literally took Ganacho out there. How's that not a penalty? How? Joke. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I just feel like it's just... An, I feel like we were screwed in a way today. But in another way, though, the tactics today from Manchester United were absolutely shocking. Why were we playing so negative today? We were bet Like, we couldn't really get into their half and, uh, in, until we were losing that game. Uh, honestly, I mean, we weren't great in that first half. It was an absolute rocket by Rashford, by the way, when he scored for us. But apart from that, we were shocking throughout that game. Why are we bringing Anthony on? Why are we starting Scott McTominay? The only reason Scott McTominay can ever be useful is if we bring him on for the last 15, 20 minutes and then he can come on and score when we're losing or drawing a game. Or just... <laughs> That's when you bring McTominay on. You you don't start the guy. You do not start Scott McTominay. In a match like this as well, you do not start Scott McTominay. Shocking stuff there. Um, I, I, I think Unana is probably our best player. He was probably our best player today. Made some great saves throughout that game. But everyone else was shit, not going to lie. Everyone else was absolutely shocking throughout that game. I mean, honestly, honestly, like we... We didn't have many great performances. I mean, you know, Ganacha made a few decent runs. Rashford was, let's be real, he scored a great goal. But he was pretty useless throughout the game for us. Um, honestly, it's a really disappointing performance today by Manchester United. Really disappointing performance today from us. The way we just sat back, let them come at us. And, you know, we did defend well in that first half. We did. But I, we all... I think a lot of us Manchester United fans knew we would not be able to keep that up for the other 45 minutes, for the whole 90 minutes. We weren't going to be able to play, keep that up. And we didn't. Oh, God, it's so frustrating, not going to lie. We were getting outplayed for the, for the majority of the game. I get it. But we were screwed by the ref. The ref was ridiculously biased in those oil merchants' favour. Ridiculously biased in their favour. The oil merchants, once again, just, just get everything handed to them once again. By the referees now, not just the all the oil money and like all the illegal things that they've been doing, not just all that. Now they're getting you know extra treatment from the referees, bias towards them. You literally never see any referees against City though. You never see any referees against those oil merchants. Honestly, like you don't. That you don't ever really see them complaining. Oh, the referees against them and stuff. You don't see them. You don't see those oil merchants fans crying about that. But that. So many of these officials, just all the time, are biased against us. They're, they're, these officials do not like us. They, they're biased against us. Honestly, there's literally no official out there. Honest, like, you know, we, we saw when those, um, we saw in the last game when that Nottingham Forest player grabbed the neck of Bruno. These officials do not like us whatsoever. They're extreme, they literally hate us. They, these officials hate us so much. We literally get nothing given to us in our favour. Absolutely nothing. Shocking. You never see City fans crying about that. You never see them crying about that because the ref are never against them. They're never against City. But they hate us so much. They hate us to the core. Absolutely shocking stuff. Needs to be investigated. Uh, like, how... How, how much the officials have an absolute grudge against United. They have a massive grudge against this Manchester United team. A massive grudge against us. 
absolutely shocking stuff from the refs and all the officials. But yeah, it doesn't take anything away as well, though, from our negative performance as well, though. Negative. We're Manchester United. We're Manchester United. Play with a bit more intensity and go for it more. Go for it more instead of, you know, it's like we were just way too nervous today to do anything. It's so frustrating to see. It's so frustrating. And the way Edison just took out Ganacho when he could have gone around him. Studs up in the air. He's, he was, he literally took him out. After, the, after he won the ball, took him out. Studs up in the air. Should not have happened. We should have had a penalty in that game. Manchester United should have had a penalty. We should have. Honestly, an absolute joke. Um, yeah, uh, just, just shocking from from the refs. But we need to be better. We need to play better football. We like we were just way too reserved in that game. We were way too reserved. This is Manchester United. This is oh, it's so frustrating, man. We are Manchester United. We've got to be better than that. We need to at least put up a game. We need to at least put up a real tough challenge instead of sitting back. We need to just do something. It's so frustrating to see for us. It really is. This was a Manchester derby. We can't be... We cannot... We cannot let the oil merchants keep on getting the best of us. It's... It's just the way they get everything handed to them. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. But yeah, I think Unana was our best player overall today. But yeah, that foul on Ganacho was shocking. I mean, as I said around McTominay, we're not meant to be starting the guy. We shouldn't be. Oh, and Lindelof's not a good enough right back. Uh, Amrabat's awful. Get rid of Amrabat. Ten Hag must get rid of Amrabat. But honestly, I am I'm been questioning Ten Hag a lot. I'm really starting, like, you know, I feel like today, yes, I know we were really ridiculously hard done by, and but the tactics have got to be better. I'm fuming with how we approach that game, though. Fuming. Absolutely fuming fuming with how Manchester United approached this game. How did Eric Ten Hag think we were going to win that game? Playing like that. Negative is how... Oh, yeah. Anyway, good on this video. Thanks for watching this video. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.